What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is The Money Management, back here with another video for you guys today. So today's video, I'm looking at three different stocks I've purchased this year. I'm gonna run through them, I'm gonna let you guys know a bit about them, you know, why I purchased them, what the future looks like, and exactly what I expect from the companies. Now, before you say anything, I do not wanna hear anything because I know last week I made a video about five different stocks to buy in 2021, and you might see a stock on here which wasn't on that list, or you might see stocks which was on that list which weren't on this list, it doesn't matter. Just to clarify, the, the video I made on five stocks to buy in 2021, obviously meant I had to buy those stocks at the right price point. So whether they've passed that price point, they're not at the price point I wanna buy yet, that's not relevant. But this video is three different stocks that I have purchased already in 2021. Now, I do wanna say, if you guys do wanna purchase these stocks, that's fine, but just know that they might not be at the same price point that I bought them for. You might not have the same reasons for buying them, but either way, you, if you are gonna purchase these stocks, you must understand what you're doing, what you're investing in, and exactly what your plan is going forward. Now, before we dive into that, please, I do wanna say, drop that thumbs up if you guys do enjoy this video. It's always appreciated, it helps with YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to like, comment, and of course, if you're new around here, hit that beautiful red button below and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's dive into those three different stocks I have purchased already in 2021. So, number one, Switchback Energy, ticket symbol SBE. So Switchback, what exactly is that? So to begin with, Switchback is actually a SPAC stock, and the abbreviation SPAC, it actually refers to a special purpose acquisition company. So what does that mean? Well, pretty much what it says, those kind of stocks are created for mergers to combine with other businesses to be acquired or to acquire other companies. And the whole aim of them is that they're blank check companies, again, like I said, to merge with another company. So before you're wondering what exactly is Switchback gonna merge with, well, they're gonna be merging with ChargePoint next month. So ChargePoint is an electric vehicle charging company. And as you guys know, right now, electric vehicles are hot. And if you guys don't know what kind of electric vehicle, well, Tesla, that's a form of electric vehicle, so you guys know. But I'm sure you guys all know what electric vehicles are. But like I said, Switchback will be combining with ChargePoint going forward. So I see a lot of potential with that. Now, what I really like about ChargePoint is the fact that they currently hold over 70% of their market. And as you guys know, in electric vehicles, that is huge. You know, they control so much of the market. So, you know, your Neos, your Teslas are going to be charged with ChargePoint products. I'm sure going forward, there's a lot more potential for great growth. So what else is it that I've seen about Switchback, which gets me interested in the stock, or at least got me interested in the stock? Well, to begin with, I've been looking at this stock since around October now, and in October it was about, it was under $13. Now if you look at today where it's over $40, well that tells you a lot. And to be honest, a large part of that growth comes down to the fact that Joe Biden won the presidential elections. So what does that have to do with anything? Well, Joe Biden is actually very big on EV stocks, especially in America. So that obviously helped fuel a bit of growth when it comes to this stock, but it's not only that. In general, EV stocks are going crazy, the EV market's going crazy, and when you have a company like ChargePoint where the stock fully functions around EVs, then that's exactly when you start to see the growth potential. Now I purchased it at 36.90, and to be honest, it has been doing great since then, but today, and even yesterday as well, it's just been having a rough time. So it dropped to lows of 40.65 today, and I do think that would have actually been a good place to buy, but I did not buy more of it. Now if it had dropped below the $40 mark, then I probably would have bought more of it, but it didn't. But yeah, there are a lot of opportunities today and Switchback was potentially one of them for you guys out there. So, you know, like I said, the big day is coming up for their merger. And honestly, they are going to be a very, very, very big leader in the EV charging infrastructure. I'm still looking for more information about them because I, I may buy more shares of this right now. But I'm not seeing that much information when it comes to full analysis. But we know that their role in the EV space is huge. For all those electric vehicle charging points, the fact that Switchback is like, you know, taking over like 78% of them and Joe Biden wants, I think it's 500,000 EV charging stations throughout the US. Obviously, again, that's a great sign for Switchback and that's the kind of news we like to act on. Also, like I mentioned, Switchback is merging with ChargePoint and actually in 2018, ChargePoint had 54,000 different charging points. And they're aiming to increase that to 2.5 million charging points within the next four years, so by 2025. So if they can really get 2.5 million charging points out, that is going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing for us. That's going to be amazing for them. And of course, everybody who's investing in the stock, and we are all going to be happy with our gains. But we'll see how it all pans out. I'm still looking for more information about Switchback, just generally expected sales, things like that. But we'll see how it pans out. Two, NIO, ticker symbol NIO. So NIO is currently trading around $57 and actually this is a lot lower than I purchased it for. Now I just talked a lot about something which was related to EV stocks, but an EV stock itself is NIO. Again, if you guys don't know, it is a Chinese EV stock and I talked about them last week in my five stocks to buy in 2021. But like I said, NIO is a great company with a bright future. 
So electric vehicles seem to just flourish in 2020 and that trend has continued in 2021. Which is why I'm a huge fan of NEO because it just seems like it doesn't matter what happens, it doesn't matter what year it is, this stock keeps going up. It is crazy how this stock seems to rally up almost every day. But I mean, obviously it doesn't rally up every day, but it seems like that sometimes. So how exactly did NEO come about? Well, in the past few months, I've been hearing a lot about electric vehicles. Of course, we know we all know Tesla, but I've been seeing other electric vehicle stocks as well, like Xpeng, Li, Nikola, and eventually I went with NEO. Now, the reason I went with NEO is because the unbelievable growth it just keeps making. And when I first saw NEO, it was trading about $13, $18, it was fluctuating, but eventually I just kept seeing it rise and rise and rise. I even placed a few option calls on it, they paid off, and eventually I was like, you know what, I need to be investing in this stock sooner rather than later. So I went with NEO. So NEO, well they also had their NEO day last Saturday, which was January 9th, and it was pretty much a success. They unveiled their new ET7 sedan model, they showed a new partnership, they did a lot on that day, and I thought, you know, this is pretty good. I like what I'm seeing. You know, I looked around, read reports, watched a few videos, and I saw mixed feelings about it. But from what I read, what I saw, I was definitely pleased with it, definitely happy with it, and definitely saw even more growth coming in the future. Now, again, I want to remind you guys, don't buy anything just because of hype. Don't buy anything because someone tells you to. Don't buy anything just because someone else is buying it. I'm sure you guys have been hearing about Neo constantly. And like I said, you know, I only invested it recently. I definitely could have invested it in the 40s. When it dropped below 40, I said I was going to invest in it. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait until Neo Day. Maybe it was a risk. You know, I missed out on like 30, 40% gains there. No big deal. I still invested in it. I'm still there and purchased it for the long haul. So I'm not too worried. Now, Neo just generally keeps seeming to exceed expectations and surge almost 10% at least one trading day of every week. So for those of you out there who are seeing Neo fly up, wait for the dips. You know, if you are going to invest in it, wait for the dips. And if you're going to rush into it, then that's up to you. But like I said, I keep seeing it exceed expectations and I see that as a huge positive going into the future. Now the funny thing is, I'm most likely going to load up on Neo stock today. Um, and actually, the lowest point it was trading today was 56.60. But uh, honestly, I do see it recovering within the next few days. And you also got to take in consideration that right now the market is just a mess. So also, by the way, look out for my video on um, what I did this week when it came to my 0 to 100k challenge. But yeah, the market this week is just a complete mess. So right now, it's a good opportunity to buy. And yeah, you guys will see my trades later on. But yeah, Neo I loaded on last week and I'm most likely going to load up again today, like I said, like I mentioned. Also, I do want to point out a couple of days ago, I made a video on my 0 to 100k challenge for 2021 on Robinhood. So make sure you guys go check that one out, show it a lot of love. And of course, feel free to let me know any questions. But like I've said in that video, I'm going to be uploading 52 of those videos this year. You guys are going to see me go from 0 to 100k or, you know, maybe not, but hopefully that's the aim of it. So we'll see how it goes. But check that video out if you've not seen it already. Three, fuel cell, ticker symbol FCEL. Now you guys saw this on my list of five stocks to buy in 2021. And yeah, I bought it in 2021. Now there are a few different reasons I did that. So let me just show you. So fuel cell, like I mentioned last week, it is renewable energy stock. And I hope it is common knowledge to all of you guys out there that uh, Mr. President Joe Biden is very big on the green sector. So in this case, stocks like fuel cell always benefit because they are in that sector. Now, if you look at fuel cell over the past month, it is not difficult to see why I purchased it. First of all, last week, when it was at 10 to $11 is when I made my video saying five stocks to buy in 2021, before it shot up all the way to this week where it hit highs of $20. Now, I'm telling you guys, the fact that it's dipped today doesn't mean it's a bad stock. The fact that it's dipped today was an opportunity to buy. And if you did miss last week, then today was definitely an opportunity. Now, when I got it, as you guys saw from my screenshot, it was in the 15s. It was around 15.35. But to be honest, anywhere in the 15s, maybe even the 16s, is definitely a good place to buy right now. I mean, going forward in the future, who knows, it might dip again. And tell you guys, if it dips to 13s and 14s, I'm going to load up even more. But it has so much potential for growth. It has already rallied so much over the past few months and the shares have performed really well all throughout 2020. But going over the next few weeks, going over for the next few months, I don't see how this stock is going to drop. I mean, again, it's renewable energy sector. We've got a new president coming into office and he is huge on the green policies and the renewable energy sector. So even though there's a lot of, I don't know what it is in the market today, but despite whatever is going on in the market today, this is definitely one of the stocks that I bought, which I have high hopes in. And to be honest, if it does drop any more today, then I will be loading up even more. I mean, if it does see the lows it saw earlier, which I doubt it will, I highly doubt it will now. Yeah, I'll load up. But right now, actually, funny enough, we're up around over 5% because I, this is where I purchased around here and this is where it's at now. So 
So we're up already about 5% within, you know, a couple hours. And that is not options. That is regular purchases. That is purchasing regular shares of the company. So we'll see how this play rolls out. But also I do want to remind you guys, hey, it's been a choppy week in the market. So make sure you guys come and check out my week in the market when I recap my week two of my zero to 100k challenge, because that's going to be very interesting. You know, there were mistakes which were made, which I'll give you guys a sneak peek of, but whew, today was rough. And yeah, like I said, you've got to wait for that video so I can explain everything that happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the three stocks that I bought. Let me know if you guys ever bought any of these stocks or if you bought anything else that you thought, think I should look into or you want me to analyze going forward. Of course, as always, like I said, please drop that thumbs up. Please continue to comment on these videos like you guys do. Also, if you're new around here, hit, hit that button below and subscribe. Lastly, make sure to share these videos, people. We need to share more of these videos. It will definitely be appreciated. It will definitely help the channel grow. Apart from that, check out all the links in the description. We've got a lot going on. And, you know, I have a big announcement coming for you guys soon. So stay tuned for that. Time Gear Watches, link is in the description. Free cryptocurrency and free stocks through Robinhood and Coinbase. Also, make sure you check out that first link in the description. It is a free online guide. You guys are going to see how much longer it's going to be free. But check it out. First link in the description. Lastly, be back here next time for another video as always. So thanks a lot for watching this video. That's just not me. I got one to make. You got one to make. See you guys next time for another video. Peace.